be a champion? Or what do you want to accomplish? Why are you training? And they will, if, you, if a guy would get up and he would say, well, I want to train because I think that if I get muscular and, um, you know, I feel like I'm getting the kind of definition then I maybe can end a, a bodybuilding competition. I said, sit down. I said, if you think this way, you're going to be a loser. You're never going to make it because there's no maybe. you got to get up and say, I want to be a champion. And I do whatever it takes. The amount of hours it takes, the posing, the this, the that, the visualization, looking at training footage, looking at motivational books, reading this, reading, whatever it takes, I would do. That's the answer I want to hear from you. You can detect right away those that are going to be shaky and that will fall behind and they will not go all the way and those that are very hungry. And that hunger you have to develop because you have to create a goal for yourself, whatever that may be, a short-term goal and a long-term goal. And you've got to go after that. And if you do not see it and if you do not believe it, who else will? The body is very important, but the mind is more important than the body. We have to visualize what that body ought to look like in order to make it win. Because that's what creates then the will. The will that you need to go to the gym every day. The will that makes you go into the four specs. The will that makes you go beyond when you do 500 pound reps in the squats. And you can't do another rep. The body is shaking. It's the will that makes you go one more time down and struggle up one more time. And so it's all this of the mental aspect that motivates you, that makes the difference between you being in the gym full of joy and looking forward to doing that extra rep and looking forward to doing those extra hundred reps in the sit-ups and working past the pain barriers. That all is the mind. It's not the body. So this is why I think the body is very important, but the mind is more important. The body is not used to uh, maybe the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th rep in a certain way. So that makes the body grow then, going through this pain barrier, experiencing uh, pain in muscles and aching and just then go on and go on and go on. And this last two or three or four repetitions, that's what makes actually the muscle then grow. That uh, divides them one from a champion and one from not being a champion. If you can go through this pain barrier, you make it to be a champion. If you can't go through, forget it. And that's what most people lack, is on this, having the guts. The guts to go in and just say, I go through and I don't care what happens. You know, it aches and if I fall down, I, I have no fear of fainting in the gym. Because I know it's, it, it, it could happen. As... But now you know what giving your all is. And you will not succeed in business or any endeavor in life until that fight you just went through is applied to the same endeavor. It's too fucking hard of a world out there. And Billy, if you're trying to lose weight for the girls on the beach, like you just said, buddy, you don't have enough fight. You're gonna drown right there. It's never gonna be successful. Think of that, guys. You guys are saying you're doing everything right. And you're giving it your all. Come on, come on. You're always a lot more than you know. You got more inside of you to give. Stop selling yourself. Sit right shit. here. I'd hold you up to say to your mother, this kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. And you grew up good and wonderful. It was great just watching every day was like a privilege. Can the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world? And you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stop being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits. 
and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. So today, although we're slaves, we don't act like we're free. And one day, our children will be free. If the slaves would have just said, we quit, we give up, we would have died in the middle passage. But some slaves said, I don't care what we go through, we're going to survive this. 400 years of slavery, we're going to get through this. And you can't get through it, 1825? You can't get through a writing class, and you got tutor after tutor, resource after resource. The problem is, you ain't never felt no pain before. You're soft. It's a soft generation. You quit on everything. Our people did not quit. Harriet Tubman not only made it, she went back and got some more. She said, you know what, I made it, but I'm, I'm going to walk all the way. Listen to me, Shh. not ride the bus. I'm going to walk all the way back down to the south to get some more. And you quitting on 1825? Get back up. Everybody knows to get back up because if I start walking, I'm not going to get anywhere. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. Do you think you have hope? Because I tell you, I'm down here, face down, and I have no arms, no legs. It should be impossible for me to get back up, but it's not. You see, I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again, and again, and again. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're going to finish. Are you going to finish strong? And you will find that strength to get back up. Like this. Listen to me, I'm telling you as I leave. I'm telling you as I leave, I was homeless for two and a half years. And the problem with most of you, you never felt no pain before. Y'all spoiled. Y'all spoiled. Some of y'all spoiled. The bottom line, your parents have done everything for you. You never had to do nothing for yourself. You're spoiled. You're going to keep it real tonight. Some of you are spoiled brats. Every time you ever got in trouble, somebody in your house got you out of it. Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you won't have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. So every time something gets hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. If I said, I don't go home, I feel bad. So go through it. You ain't gonna die at the end of pain and success. You're not gonna die because you feel the most pain. It comes down to that they're gonna win or lose, meaning they're gonna live or die on the mission. The pile's like, give them the whole fucking nine yards. Everything you fucking have. And for order for us to win. And their situation, winning was living. In order to continue to live. To not to perish, to not to die. Give it everything I had in order to survive. The whole fucking nine yards. They were fighting for their life. And here. We and he rests for about two seconds. And he Boom. 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 Did you see that? He'd already won a Super Bowl. He said, I think I'm gonna take a rest. And he rests for how long? One second. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. And I'm here to tell you today, if you got a, somebody came to my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me. I'm here to tell you today that you can come here, you can jump up, you can do flip, you can be excited when we give away money. But listen to me, you'll never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do.
I was gonna rip his heart out, I'm the best ever I'm the most brutal in Michigan, most ruthless champion there's ever been There's no one can stop me, Lynch is a conqueror No, I'm Alexander, he's no Alexander I'm the best ever, there's never been anybody ruthless I'm Sonny Liston, I'm Jack Dempsey, there's no one like me I'm from their cloth, there's no one that can match me My style is impetuous, my defense is impregnable And I'm just ferocious, I want your heart, I want to eat his children Praise be to Allah Listen to me, pain is temporary it may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever.